Welcome to the class CS 5005, Computing Structures. Hello, my name is Sridhar Radhakrishnan. I'm a professor of computer science at the University of Oklahoma. I am Sudarshan Dahl, also a professor of computer science at the University of Oklahoma. Together, we will be bringing this course to you. Computing Structures combines topics from both data structures and discrete mathematics. These two topics are both fundamental and important for all, including computer scientists, data scientists, and in general, for anyone who desires deep knowledge of algorithm development. Shirithar will talk more on data structures, and I will be presenting topics on discrete mathematics, or as some people call it, discrete structures. Discrete mathematics deals with objects that are inherently discrete, such as integers or a list, and set of elements that are drawn from a well-defined domain. Examples of this include a list of cars from the domain of automobiles, a set of people with some characteristics from the set of all people in the city of Norman, and others. Uh, when one writes an algorithm to solve a problem, it is possible to establish the correctness of the algorithm. By correctness, I mean, does the algorithm produce the right or desirable result? By learning proof techniques, such as induction, we will be able to write correctness proofs of algorithms. Thus, with tools in discrete mathematics, we can determine correctness of algorithms even before we implement and test it. This will produce savings in both time and cost. Data structures, on the other hand, is about organizing data in such a way that the algorithms that we use data can work in an efficient manner. In this class, you will learn how various data structures such as arrays, vectors, linked lists, queues, stacks, trees, graphs, and others are built and used by various applications. We will use C++ as the primary programming language using which these data structures will be built. We will start the class by introducing you to the syntax of C++. In addition to proof techniques, in discrete mathematics, you will also learn combinatorics, Boolean algebra, functions and relations, graphs, and others. This course is a five credit hour course taught over 10 weeks. Our lectures will be divided for each week into two parts. One part will be data structures and the other will be discrete mathematics. We recommend that you listen to all lectures as presented each week. As part of this course, students are required to complete three programming projects in data structures and seven homework assignments in discrete mathematics. Also, students will be required to take a midterm exam and a final examination. The grade distribution for all these is in the syllabus. We hope that you will all have a productive and enjoyable learning experience.